are you doing? This is V, Diamond in the Rough. What have you been up to lately? Um, short whipping chat here. I'm going to try and keep it short. We'll see how we go. <laughs> um, yeah. It's um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Friday the 17th of July. I've uh, come off night shift. Um, I've had my sleep. Not much of a sleep because Nathan's home. Uh, but yeah, I've had a sleep and uh, on day one of five off. Mm. I will admit that this morning I was on YouTube with sound <laughs> while I was at work. Naughty me. Um, but I got notification that Stephanie did a test live because she's testing out StreamYards and um, popped in and said hello and so actually I missed her real life but um, at least I got to say hello this morning to her because yeah I was sleeping when she went real life. Um, shift wise two day shifts were good two night shifts one of the night shifts I was training slash mentoring someone to learn the area that I'm I work so they'll learn to control the that area yeah they get qualified or what we call passed out um so that was on sec first night shift but last night oh gosh i was on the quieter section of track um so i normally like one end of the yard one end of the board i, I work and if, if i don't get a radio call within 10 minutes i check to make sure my radio is working uh, this one, I think I went more than half an hour without a radio call. Uh, and when you're doing a job that we do, that that I do, yeah, the concentration that you have to keep up, and then you get no radio calls, and it's all quiet and nothing happening. Yeah, it is actually horrible. You tend to put your well. Excuse me, what I did, I put my head in my hands and just watched things go around and um, had a micro sleep, I think. I think I had a micro sleep anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. The quiet nights are the hard nights. Very hard nights. Um, so, I thought, oh, short whip and chat, normally do these at night time. Nathan happens to be out of the house um, so I thought I'd run through some of the, excuse me I thought I'd run through some of the comments for the last uh, a lot of comments I received uh, only two videos I've received comments on um, one is the last short whipping chat and the other one was the Esperance travels but then I think that's the only two is that the only two videos that have gone out? Yeah, that's that's the only two videos that have gone out. So it's understandable. Uh, so we're going to talk to the last short whip and chat number 46. Because this one's number 47. Uh, <clears throat> so we had... Michelle Mills, love DP work on looks really big and detail is simply stunning. So, what's this? I think this is a 50 by 60. 50, uh, 62 by 50. Um, and Michelle, I have given you the link below if you actually are interested in this image. Yeah. Um, one of my own, it's a custom. But it's a custom that's available for anybody that wants to purchase it. How many times is that? do I say it? I suppose, yeah, and I get artist commission on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, which is, it's really good. It's really good. Um, okay, Anna, thanks for the chat. Kane is coming along nicely. <clears throat> what have I done? Yeah, I've done more, a lot more than from, I think I was working on that section there. Um, yeah, I think it was this section here, or that section there that I was working on. 
uh, with the last whip and chat. So, yeah, coming along very nicely. What else? Next comment. So, thank you, Anna. Keep your eye peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Then we have Brittany. <laughs> You have no idea how much I look forward to these. P.S. Love this painting. Yep. Um, well, this is a set of three. And um, when I get this one done, that's the three done. And they will go on the wall I planned for them to go on. Nathan will hang them up there. Um, he actually did put a door up, so it will block the view. But... Um, they will be that is the perfect spot for them so on the hallway so it'll absorb some of the sounds so yeah wait for the set of three to be completed two are done this one is the last one uh, on that note my next custom is coming uh, if you were part of the Facebook group I put a link into uh, uh, for a diamonds unboxing number 80 uh, but I started the link off with uh, a Kathy Bradley because Kathy has ordered uh, diamond painting one of my customs and it's in that unboxing but if you actually go earlier in that and into, into that unboxing number 280 you will actually see my custom is in there that's coming that's been packed up and I've been notified by FedEx so Woohoo, it's coming. <laughs> uh, yep. But, uh, it looks awesome. It's, I don't even have my phone here. Uh, it's a picture that I have on my phone. Um, and it's a 60 by 90. So it's actually one that will fit in a poster frame. So there's no fancy frame required for it. I can just buy a standard poster frame and um, frame that one up nice and easy. It's not like I have to go and buy a frame that's going to be a specific size. Um, yeah, so that's that's really excellent news because that one's coming, which means the unboxing of that one when that comes out will actually... Uh, give you details on the thousand subscriber giveaway uh, Rachel Ray hey Rach it's a high fee hope all's well with your fantastic work as always yep everything is good here um hang on are you coming to huff and say hello yeah huff 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 come on around this side Come on, round on the carpet. Come on. Come on, round on the carpet, buddy. Yeah, hello, mate. Ah, uh, on the note of Bo. <laughs> I'll put some footage in. I was cruel to him the other day. I washed him. <laughs> in the laundry trough, so enjoy. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is noisy, I've got the dryer going, but it's for a reason, although yes, I've got towels in here. It is because this little one is about to hop in the laundry tub, and he knows that he's going to get a bath, and he hates being bathed. Don't you, buddy? You do. You hate being bathed. No amount of treats, and yes, the doggy dog is not, and he knows it. What are we doing, mate? We're going to put some... Put the water in the top, and then you really know you're doing it. So my laundry floor at the moment, hang on, we'll like this. My laundry floor at the moment is a mess, but it's not getting done until after this one's being washed. Is it? What's going on? What's going on, buddy? Water's filling up in the bath for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> there we go. We'll turn that off for a sec. Look at that boy. He's not happy. Are you? You don't like a bath. <laughs> he just 
Stand there. You want out? Say, Mum, stop taking my picture. Get me out of this freaking water. It's hot. It's not hot water, it's warm water. Mm. Hey, do we get a waggy tail? No. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hope you enjoyed that and he's off out. He's gone. Um, Bo hates water. So he won't sit in the water. I can't get him to stay still outside to wash him in cold water and it's winter so he has to have you know, well, doesn't have to have warm water but I like to give him warm water. Uh, but he won't sit down in that and if I put him in the bath he jumps out. So laundry trough he doesn't jump because he's got to be picked up and picked up to go in and picked up to come out. Uh, Cindy B. I love stationery supplies too. There's no one more excited than a teacher to do back to school shopping for new pens, <laughs> parkers, post-it notes, etc. It was tough the first year after retiring not to go to the store and buy everything. Now I buy all the craft supplies. <laughs> Oops, that one's not where it needs to be. <clears throat> yeah. The Inku crate it was a big disappointment, but you'll see that unboxing. Um, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I came across an ad on Instagram for the glass tipped ink pen. My gosh, it was stunning. I nearly brought one last night and I was like, nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I understand that thing of all the stationery. And it's like, um, somebody turned around at work, they're saying, but do you write like that? And I went, actually, yes, I do. I don't do calligraphy, but I do do the cursive script when I write. My handwriting is... Um, people get surprised when they see my handwriting. They see my printing, and then when they see my handwriting, they're like, and what the... <laughs> my handwriting is... Uh, it has been commented it on on the on the, on it quite a few times um, but I'm not going down the calligraphy pen side of things but I did see I did think oh that'd be so nice to write into the diary into the planner but mm, oh well <clears throat> I didn't do it I didn't do it give me another couple of weeks and I probably will I know what I'm like <laughs> okay now I'm on to the Esperance uh, whip and chat Esperance, oh my gosh, that was absolutely stunning to go home. It was so good to go home, to take Nathan with me. Uh, I will say that when I go back home to Esperance, uh, friends, one of my friends is like, <laughs> she, she was like, well, the only thing that got you back into this town was a grandchild. <laughs> I don't go down to Esperance very often. I... It is a beautiful town, but I think there's too many memories for me and so I don't like going down because of those memories of all sorts of stuff. So we'll leave that one alone. Um, but yeah, it is beautiful. The area is beautiful. Um, you know, those pictures were taken, it's the middle of winter for us. And, you know, we are blessed down there to have the even winter because it's not as cold the water the water you wouldn't even dip your toe in you'd freeze it off but uh, yeah winters down in Esperance are beautiful it's not as cold as what people think it's colder in Perth than it, at night time overnight than it gets in Esperance Esperance doesn't get that chill I didn't realise how horrible some winters can be. And this is this is really funny. I didn't realise how horrible winters could be until I came to Perth. And then, you know, in Perth, it barely drops between... At night time, you very rarely get a temperature below, like, 2 degrees Celsius, that is. That slid because it was upside down. Um... So yeah, yes, I agree with everybody that's saying it's beautiful. So Michelle Mills, as usual, love the video, love the pictures, love the video trip. Some of the beaches were stunning. Oh, yes. 
Um, <clears throat> Cindy B, love, love, love the scenery. There's nothing better than snuggling a grandchild. He's so precious. I've got some, I've been getting some pictures, beautiful little pictures of him that I've been enjoying. So, yes. Um, Marilyn at McDaniel, love the trip pics. Grandma is smitten. <laughs> Hang on. Nana. <laughs> Everyone calls me, keeps calling me Granny, and I'm like, going, I'm not Granny, I'm Nana. <laughs> Uh, Nana Fee is what I'm going to be called. So he has so many grandparents and great grandparents. It's so amazing to see. I mean, I was fortunate when I was a kid that I had three. Both I had three grandparents, so I only lost one grandparent, which was on my on my dad's side. But to see that. Um, Vivek has uh, me, although Nathan's not a grandparent and he doesn't want to class as one. You've got me, you've got his dad, my ex-husband and his new wife. So there's three grandparents there. And then there's two grandparents on her side of things. But then you've got the great-grandparents. So, you know, on my side of things, I'm not quite sure on the other side of things, but he's got on... He's got a great-grandmother and a great... He's got two great-grandmothers and a great-grandfather too. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's quite cool to see, quite cool to see. And, yeah, yeah. People are living longer, and that's why that happens. Rightio. So, um, Brittany... Love the videos. Can I ask why you're using tweezers instead of DP pen? Anyway, love the pics and your grandson is so precious. So the reason behind using tweezers and uh, where I use tweezers sometimes and a diamond painting pen is I actually find with square diamond paintings I get better placement and when I do square diamond paintings I will ch tend to check a board. So then just the placement of the tweezers you've got better placement whereas because they're square whereas uh, as a round the placement is, is quite simple you know it's a circle but you end up with I feel that I get neater lines when I use tweezers and I use the tweezers to do the color blocking use the tweezers to do the checkerboarding like I'm doing here but then I'll refill with a pen um, of, I'll fill in the checkerboarding with a diamond painting pen. Um, just gives me straighter lines. It's just something that I found and something I enjoy. And I think because I, well, I used to diamond paint quite a lot before I started taking on some other other um, crafts. But I found that both rotating between a diamond pen and tweezers, my hands didn't get as sore. Uh, mine, my hands are so used to diamond painting that the pen doesn't make any mark, doesn't hurt anymore. I've got calluses on my fingers where the pen sit. <laughs> but yeah, the tweezers are just, it just to me, it gives me neater lines and because I am, and using the checkerboard process, it, it just makes everything look neater. Um, I know people spend a lot of times when you first start learning you spend a lot of times trying to get the drills in square and perfect if you go with tweezers it's easier to get them straight it's not essential obviously because they all click in and set themselves up in line but yeah that's why I use the tweezers and tweezers on squares okay and Anna Dion, looks like you had a wonderful trip. The baby is beautiful. Beaches are gorgeous. Love seeing the dolphins. Love wave rock. Saw hippos yawn when you were in Africa. So that rock looks just like a hippo's yawn to you. Um, yeah, wish you gotten some pictures of the kangaroos. It, it's so funny that, um, you know, on the way home, five minutes from home is where we saw the most kangaroos. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, we are in the... We're in the city area, <laughs> city surrounds. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Um, I think that's about it. Um, 
it's Friday so tonight I will actually sit and pull out the planner I am still waiting on stickers so I've got quite a few orders of stickers still to come so waiting for them to arrive but I think I'm going to have to do this next this week. I'm just going to have to do with what, whatever stickers I've got. Uh, but I'm finding that I need to get what they call monthly kits for each month, and then a weekly kit for each week. And um, and I tell you what, there's a lot of pretty ones out there. And I am trying to buy Australian kits specifically. I have brought some off Etsy that are, are not Australian, but a lot at least, at least with Etsy you can establish whether they are from Australia or not. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, everything is quiet otherwise. Nathan time for the next couple of days, which means recordings are going to be hard to do. And uh, he's already interrupted this one once because it's like, oh, can you come and do this with me? And it's like, uh, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nathan's one of these people. It's going to get done. It's going to get done now. Unless somebody else wants it done. And then it gets done when he's ready to do it. <laughs> ah, at least there's no chain, no, no circular saws, drills or hammers going. So, yeah. So, uh, anybody got any plans for the weekend? Let me know what, do you, what your plans are. And yeah, I will leave that there and I wish you guys a, a very great day and a good weekend. And uh, I will talk to you later. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit the subscribe button. So uh, if you're new to my channel, you know when uh, you'll get notified when I do release a video or oh, when I go live which I'm thinking a live's coming up we'll see I'm thinking a live's coming up okay so I'll leave that there I will say thank you gems for joining me and uh, bye for now